Your claim was specifically that Hilbert proved that an infinite regress of causes was impossible. You said the mathematics demands it. Well, I have this paper of Hilbert that you referred to here, David Hilbert on the infinite. You can come up, anyone in the audience can come up and look at it afterwards. There's no proof in there. Sorry. You've been fooled by William Lane Craig, who's not exactly the most reliable source. He's a Christian apologist. There's no proof in here. This article was written in 1925. What Hilbert was talking about was the then understanding of the physical universe, the then current 1925, 82 years ago, understanding of the model of the universe. He said in that understanding, there's no infinite quantities in the universe. But this is 2007. We've learned a heck of a lot about the universe since then. And I'm not a physicist, but my physicist colleagues assure me that there are very respectable physical theories in which, in fact, there are infinite quantities in nature. So let's see if I can find the slide for that. Yeah, so here it is. In fact, I would assert that there is no logical reason to rule out an infinite regress of causes. We could have a singularity at time zero and an event at time one over n plus one causing an event at time one over n for all n. So we have an event at time of fourth that causes an event at time of third, an event at time of fifth that causes that event at time of fourth, and so forth. You get an infinite regress of causes. This is actually very similar to some of the claims made about the singularity of the Big Bang, that there are an infinite number of states after the singularity of the Big Bang. So in fact, there's no logical reason, and please don't believe him when he said Hilbert proved it. He didn't do any such thing. 